What's going good people? In today's video here for The Witcher 3, I'm going to give you guys a few tips for a part of this quest, Wandering in the Dark, in which we need to use your Witcher senses to find Kira. So with them on, let's get started. So at this particular point, you will follow Kira down below into the caves, man, in which we will see old buddy them teleport across the way right but the bridge is broken so we need to do the same man so keep on following her and then she can open up this teleport now when she opens this up you actually don't have to go through i'll show you guys what happens if you uh don't go through the teleport man but if you do go through when she opens it up Follow me. you will end up somewhere else damn portals wonder where kira is now so now we need to use your witcher senses to find Kira, man. So let's go ahead and uh, equip the cat potion so we can see a little bit better in the night. You know, get them cat eyes going. So there we are. We got some drowners up ahead. So make quick work of them bad boys. You can search the cave for any useful items as well, too. So burn these dudes them up. You know, make quick work of them. Wrap them up. Do your thing, man. And then when you're ready... Make your way down into the water right here. Now off to the left, we have a treasure chest, man. You could go ahead and, you know, snatch up the items in the chest. So you see the chest right over there to the left. So I can go ahead and take the scenic route. You know, give Geralt a good little exercise while he's down here. Snatch up all them items and let's exit the cave stage left. So just head off in this direction, man. Watch out for your air meter, you know. And as we uh, come up top, we could go a couple of different places, man. But make your way off in this direction to the right. And select the telekinetic blast. Blast through this wall. Now, as you can see, we see some fog up ahead, man. So, probably a little enemy or something. Mr. Foglet. So, we're going to speed things up just a little bit so we can make quick work of him. So, just do your best to take care of old Foggy right here. Wrap him up and be done with it, right? Also, make sure to search the chest in the other room. Not too sure if there's any significant item in there. You got a bear hide, so you know. Oh well. But uh, I think the items are randomized in the chest, so you know, you might have better luck with something else. But nevertheless, man, make your way off in this direction. Select the telekinetic blast one more time. Blast this bad boy. And we got some drowners up ahead in this uh, dusty, cloud, dirty area. Be careful though. Don't carry your torch up in there, man, or else you'll go kablooey. So, you know, gonna speed things up one more time, man. So you can take advantage of the fog though. You could blast the fog to hopefully get the drowners. So they can take some fire damage. Keep them nice and crispy. But when you're done, man, make your way off in this direction. And you could search down there as well too, although I may advise against it at this point. And we're kind of back near the starting location where we first entered the teleport. So just go down this pathway right here. Let me use my cat one more time. And then bank this right and we should be able to find Kira. They're only rats. I hate rats. Thank you. You that afraid of rats? Could have annihilated them with one spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Let's go. We might still reach the Elven Mage before they do. But what does the Hunt want from him? If that Elf has information about Ciri, or if she tried to find him, contact him even, and they sensed her. Very well, let's move on. Perhaps we'll come across some clue, some trace left by this Elf. 
There's no guarantee the wild hunt is going the right way. Gavella Glam. So when you're ready, man, you could go ahead and proceed on with this quest. Now to go back to the teleport sequence, man, as I mentioned earlier, you didn't actually have to go through the teleport if you didn't want to. If you let her go through the teleport, you know, and then you back up. As you can see right here, we're at this particular point and you just head off in that direction. So, you know, you could save yourself some time by doing it like this, but of course you don't get some of the perhaps useful items, but you could go search for those things. So she just over here, man, dealing with them big scary rats. <laughs> and so, you know, just go ahead and take them out as usual and then go about your business, man. Uh, so folks, that is pretty much that, man. Just wanted to give you guys this walkthrough video on the Witcher tree, showing you guys how to use your witch's senses to find Kira. And this takes place during the quest, Wandering in the Dark. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. As always, I appreciate the support. And with that there, fellas, man, I guess I will see you guys in the next video.